talk about perfect timing, Rep Rapper reached out to me asking if I wanted to review a sample of their silk green PLA, just as I needed some to finish my office anyway. Let's start with this desk. Some say that having two video cards in a desktop is pointless. I agree, there's so much more space to fill. And before another hashtag cancel starts trending, you should know that all of these cards are one gigabyte of VRAM or less, except a couple. They're so old that driver support stopped with Windows XP. So it's not like you were going to game on one of these anyway. The middle of this desk is supported with some pet G towers to take the brunt of the weight, while the front edge has these green supports made from Rep Rapper's silk green PLA. I printed on glass to give the front edge a mirror finish. With normal PLA, I typically wouldn't bother printing on glass since it takes longer to get that first layer down and preheat the printer, but with a good silk PLA like this one, the walls are shiny enough that having a glass bottom layer works well. On my right side in this office, I have a 10 gigabit switch for the workstation and NAS. It used to live out in the workshop, but since we got a deep freeze here in Texas, I decided it might be time to bring the network storage indoors. Because my less than 2 meter square office doesn't have room for a server rack, I needed to wall mount the switch. Once again, print it on glass. If you've printed on glass before, you know that prints curling off the bed, catching the nozzle, and turning into a pile of spaghetti is a struggle. The workshop was still in single digit Celsius temperatures. That's below 50 in cheeseburger. This rep wrapper silk green stuck to the bed surprisingly well. Every glass print succeeded, despite the cold room, even this nearly 30 centimeter wide piece. I also printed this wall mount for a Raspberry Pi so that I could code locally, test GPIO pins, or just have it as a web interface for some of my offline networks. Despite my best efforts, my in progress, big quotes there, folder is well over a terabyte, and I've designed a color-coded note card system, which helps to remind me that I've already recorded a video for my network storage over a year ago, and still not edited one second of it. Originally, I ordered some dirt cheap PLA for these blue note card holders, and you can see I got what I paid for. The Rep Wrapper Silk Green running from the same exact code on the same exact printer yielded much better results. Since I moved out to the countryside, I no longer have fiber internet, and honestly, at this point, I'm just glad to have one provider in my area with double digit internet speeds. So, hosting torrents and library content isn't realistically something I can do anymore and still do anything else. So the library computer is now just a NAS, and it's time to put another fan faceplate on there, and since I've gone from 6 drives to 9, I really need to add more fans inside the computer to keep some of these enterprise drives cool. They do overheat without direct airflow. I made sure to print off my usual set of test pieces so I could give you the color details, and while the color is light, it's still incredibly saturated. I think it looks lighter in person than in this picture, a lot like a sour apple chewy candy. Here are some thoughts I also included in my Amazon review. Besides the color, the surfaces are incredibly smooth. The layer lines are very well blended, especially on smaller objects like the supports for my desk. Because you're printing a silk PLA, you can play around with the layer height to actually brighten or darken the color of the sides. The picture of the filament on screen with 0.16 millimeter layers on an otherwise 0.24 millimeter layer height print, you can see that it leaves a darker stripe the thinner the layer. Other silk PLAs that I've printed sometimes exaggerate printer defects such as rigging, but this filament hides that very well on a CR10 whose only upgrade is a dual gear extruder. So whether it's down to a difference in molten surface tension or the rate at which the silk PLA cools, Rep Wrapper has figured out how to make a good formula here. The chemical greatness extends to bed adhesion too. Silk PLA is especially great for printing a bed level test piece since the intense reflectivity of the filament will vary enough that you can easily spot issues. I was able to level this print bed 
switching over from tape with the filament manually using only my hands and eyes. Once again, you can find this filament linked in the description below, and RepRapper is offering my viewers a 15% discount using the link down below. Assuming clicking links to actually buy this wonderful filament in person isn't going to do it for you, then there's other links on the screen you can click that'll take you to other videos and playlists that I've done on the channel. Make sure you're subscribed for more filament reviews and of course printing cool stuff, and I'll see you in the next one.